Amanda, yes, uh, her primary challenger is a woman who has uh, run very successful real estate business. We'll get into that in just a minute. Set the scene here at North Haven's Clintonville Elementary, a K through five school, largest voting district here in the town. And they say they've never seen anything like the turnout here today. Now back to the race between Rosa DeLauro and uh, primarily Margaret Stryker. Rosa has been the uh, district's representative in Congress since she first ran back in 1990, 30 years. Rarely has she had a challenge, but this year it seems to be a little bit different. We're talking about Republican challenger Margaret Stryker, who grew up in Milford and has uh, built an accomplished real estate business. She's turned heads when she was endorsed about three weeks ago by the New Haven Police Union and several other police unions, as well as the Connecticut Fraternal Order of Police. But Deloro's campaign has called Stryker a liar on a couple of fronts and a slumlord. She was voted one of the 10 worst landlords in New York, and, and she was also fined $1.2 million by the New York Attorney General for, this is their language, for harassing, uh, uh, intimidating uh, 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 tenants and demolishing housing units. I am not now, nor have I ever been a slumlord. Um, I do take over properties that are in tremendous states of disrepair and I fix them up. That is, you know, bettering the property, that's improving the living spaces for all who reside there. And I am proud of the work product that I do. Stryker says her campaign is very pleased with the exit polling they've received. She says voters, including some Democrats, tell her that they are ready for a change after 30 years. DeLauro, on the other hand, says her experience in Washington is extremely valuable to her constituents, including the fact that she is the chairperson of the subcommittee of appropriations, which focuses on health, education, and jobs. Now, back here in North Haven, as has been the case across the state, the registrar's office says around here it's been, quote, cuckoo today, meaning in terms of the number of voters. They say they expect to surpass 2016's presidential election, which saw 82 percent of registered voters turned out, and they said they expect to pass that percentage by a wide margin. We're live in North Haven at the Clintonville School. I'm Tony Terzi, Fox 61 News.